how to make this Brazilian tapioca. First, get a, a pan like this one with no oil, nothing. Then you're gonna get the little package. And here we are like warming up the pan, okay? Also, this is hot right now, it's hot. It will add the tapioca. You wanna do like, feel like all the gaps, like if you're making like a pancake, right? So we're trying to make this white kind of tortilla that's gonna look like a pancake, kind of. So you do that, spread everything. And then you're gonna wait for about 30 seconds. Yeah, it's very quick, it's that easy. So um, once you put the whole package, let's count one, two, three, four, five, do a little shake like that, shake it a little bit like that. And you can even like use something to spread so it's even. So it's a little bit even. And then you wait like uh, 30, about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna turn. They all like glue together very, very quick. And then you have to turn because if you leave here too long, it gets very hard and dry it and it's not a good. So I'm gonna turn. One, two, three, four. I turn it. And look like that. You see how you really need to turn. If you don't turn very quick, it becomes very hard. And then it's not that good, okay? So and then you just leave here like about 10 seconds. And see if it's ready. Like it's ready. If it's ready. If I leave here too long, it's going to be to dry it. If that's not what we want. And then you can leave here still. Okay, I turn it off already. The heat. And I'm gonna you can eat like that. You can eat like that. Or you can put something on top, right? Like a banana with cinnamon and peanut butter and, and whatever you like i don't have a banana right now so i'm gonna improvise something else which i'm gonna show you because i don't have bananas i would definitely use bananas if i had i'm just gonna put some mangoes on the microwave and kind of make like a mango jelly mango kind of thing so i can put on top i'll show you here's the mango that went on the microwave for like two minutes. So I'm kind of make like making a jelly with the mango. I'm gonna add some cinnamon because I love it. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of uh, cashew powder because I don't have peanut butter at home, but I would add like a little bit of peanut butter here to make like this amazing creamy. A tablespoon of cashew powder. This one I buy from Amazon, it has no sugar, it's 100% cashew. It's just great to have at home when you run out of peanut butter, almond butter, or you just wanna have like a different taste, different nutrients. Just to diversify one spoon and uh, mix it up again. It would be nice to put one spoon of honey here, but I'm running out of honey too. So I need to see the groceries and buy a couple of things, but let me try. It does not need honey actually. These frozen mangoes, organic that I buy from Trader Joe's, they're very sweet. Sometimes they're not too sweet, but this time they are. They have zero sugar added to it. It's only one ingredient, organic mango. So I just made here cream that's mango, my basic mango, um, with cashew, cashew powder and cinnamon. And it's amazing. So you just add the tapioca to the plate. See how it looks? It stayed a little bit too long, okay? It's supposed to be soft. 
so it's better if you take from the the pan and put it on a plate as soon as it's done i overcut i overcut it needs to be like 30 seconds each side baby but it's okay now we are gonna add the mango cream here turns out to be really really amazing to make a little bit more healthier and fancy you can add some walnuts or something else if you have at home there you have the tapioca with uh mango cream but you can also make it like a banana and whatever fruit you have at home and will be amazing and I'm eating that with two eggs. 